socialist millennial Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez hitting the campaign trail with Bernie Sanders this week after shocking the political establishment and taking out Pelosi's protege. But is she all sizzle and no steak? Here's what she said when questioned on Israeli-Palestinian relations. You use the term the occupation of Palestine. Mm. What did oh. you mean by that? Oh, um, I think it, what I meant is like the, the settlements that are increasing in, in some of these areas and, and places where, um, where Palestinians are experiencing uh, difficulty in access to uh, their housing and homes. Do you think you can expand on that? Yeah, I mean, I think I'd also just, I, I am not the expert on geopolitics on this issue. That's for sure. <laughs> Joining me now, Fox News contributor Tommy Lair. Now, Tommy, you and I have been in situations where I'm sure we don't really know exactly what we're talking about, but we're able to fudge it and we're, we can wing it and at least pretend to kind of have a semblance of knowledge about the subject. You never throw your hands up and you say, I'm not an expert. She's also running for office, so that makes it a little bit more disturbing. But, Jesse, yeah. i got to tell you, I used to love it when Hillary Clinton would come on TV because I thought that it would make it so much easier for us in November and in 2020. But I'm over Hillary. This is my new girl. I love to see <laughs> her on TV. I think it's hilarious. I do, too. Uh, I think I'm going to donate to her campaign because I want her to go as far as possible in the Democratic Party. Maybe she could run on, on Biden's ticket. Maybe it could be Biden-Cortez. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of it, too. But, you know, and she's also a Democratic Socialist, and she's going to be campaigning with Bernie Sanders. You know, the young people are supposed to love socialism, but also young people love reality TV. So, Jesse, I have an idea. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we take Bernie Sanders and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, why don't we drop them into the socialist nation of their choice <laughs> and see how long they last? I love that idea. Um, I will call the executives at Fox right now and see if we can get that rolling. Now, this wasn't just one statement. She had a few. Let's hear what her uh, opinion was on direct action in the streets. Roll it. We have to have a rapid response. And I think every day that we go on, especially a day when something that heinous happens, uh, we have to occupy all of it. We need to occupy every airport. We need to occupy every border. We need to occupy every ICE office. I mean, she doesn't understand about the Israeli occupation, but she wants to occupy everything in America. I, I don't think this tactic is effective. Do you? I think it gets some people riled up, which, of course, it has because she's been somewhat successful. But yeah. I'll tell you that she also said she was going to take a lot of her policy direction from activists. And I have a question for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Which activists? Is it going to be the activists that riot, loot, and burn their local businesses? Or is it the activists that march around in the streets with reproductive organs on their head? I mean, which <laughs> activists is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez going to be taking direction from from her policy? Because as we know, she really doesn't have a lot of policy. Policy experience. This isn't her strong suit, so I'm wondering where she's going to get it from. Yeah, I don't think she knows. Maybe she can get it at Bernie's house. Let's listen to her take on capitalism and the unemployment rate. This one's my favorite. Roll it. We look at these figures and we say, oh, unemployment is low. Everything is fine, right? Well, unemployment is low because everyone has two jobs. Unemployment is low because people are working 60, 70, 80 hours a week. I do think that right now when we have this no-holds-barred, Wild West hyper-capitalism, what that means is profit at any cost. Capitalism has not always existed in the world, and it will not always exist in the world. Okay, I mean, I hate to fact check her. Uh, everyone has two jobs. Uh, the people with two jobs, and it's his lowest rate in about 11 years. But that's not even how the jobless numbers go down. That's not how the unemployment rate works. It's down because people are working. More Americans are working. I don't think she gets it. She doesn't get it as all, at all, but it just keeps getting better and better every time she opens her mouth. Like I said, I think it's wonderful. It's always interesting to watch a train wreck. But as I said <laughs> earlier, she loves socialism so much, she doesn't think that capitalism is going to be around forever. So let's drop her in Venezuela. Let's have her <laughs> live there. Let's just give her six months. Let's give her six months in Venezuela and see how well she likes six it. Six months? I would like months. to document I wouldn't, it. I, I would wouldn't give like her six weeks. There. 
I wouldn't give her six weeks. You know what she reminds me of, Tommy? You remember when I used to go out and do those street interviews and talk to people and they were just totally clueless? She reminds me of a guest on Waters World. But my favorite was we have this wild, wild west capitalism. What is she talking about? It's like the most regulated economy of all time. I mean, Trump's kind of slashed those regulations, but I mean, what world is she living in? Well, not this world, uh, and she obviously doesn't understand that capitalism is what allows us to flourish as a nation. It's what allows her to do things that she does day in and day out, and the young people that are listening to her, I hope that they understand that as well. But I think what she's trying to do is throw out flashy words like socialism because <laughs> she thinks all the young people are going to flock to her because they flock to Bernie. But I think people are getting smarter, at least I would hope so. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not ready to agree with people are getting smarter. I was... Uh... Been out in the streets recently, and it's uh, it's it's slim pickings.